Hello and good day. Thank you for listening to this latest short clip from Green Blue Urban. Today we're going to talk about underground guying, how we hold a tree down um, when it's in the tree pit. Now there are various different ways of actually um, holding a tree into its upright position, but today we're concentrating on the way in holding trees below ground. This is the natural way to hold a tree, as what this does is it mimics the way that in a natural forest floor environment, the tree stem moves and what this does is release a root growth hormone. So holding a tree at the base is the most healthy way to do it for the tree and maximizes our root growth. In the natural forest four, of course, what happens is that the rooting system grows in proportion to the stem and canopy. When we are planting a tree that's either container grown or root bald, or even um, when it's actually a bare root, what we find is that of course the rooting system is very much reduced. So when we're using either container grown or root ball, we have this method called the underground guying system or the arbor guy. Here I want to show you the dead man underground guying system. Now this is simply where we put a large weight in the bottom of the tree pit, such as a concrete pin curb or a large piece of wood, and we actually tie a wire around it and then we bring that up, those wires and the D-rings up to the side of the root ball. The D-ring should always be halfway up the side of the root ball and then we tie it down with a ratchet strap. Now as we've moved on we find that there's a lot of inquiry for um, a use of a dead man system but without using tantalized and poisonous timber or concrete which can leach into the soil. So Green Blue Urban have innovated the um, arbor plate system or anchor plate system which actually does exactly the same thing without the need of providing the additional weight. It is a large steel plate which stays in the bottom of the tree pit, three per tree, which there again we bring the D-ring up to the side of the root ball. Now the most common way of using this is actually the drive-in anchor system which actually is an, an anchor head, which we do in um, composite and in aluminium, which is driven into the ground to a depth um, so that the D-ring there again comes halfway up the root ball. This should be a minimum of 400 into the ground or um, up to 800 into the ground. Once it's actually hammered in, we're using the drive-in anchor tool. We then, then set the anchor by actually pulling on the wire which then turns the anchor head round giving it maximum pull out strength. Once it's actually driven in we then um, use the rod removal tool carefully to remove the the rod out of the ground. This can be difficult in, in just trying to pull it out if it's damp ground and then we actually drive it and set it. We also offer the aluminium um, drive-in anchor system, particularly on the larger trees. We do a system for the majority of size trees that we plant in the UK. Now it's really important when we're planting, when we're planting a tree that we get the right height. We recommend that the nursery line, that is the position at which soil um, is naturally um, on the base of the tree where the bark changes from stem bark to root bark. This should be a minimum of 25 millimeters above the ground level to allow for root ball settlement. As we then strap, we thread the green blue urban strap through the D rings and tighten it, making sure again that that nursery line doesn't fall below the ground. Once we then tighten the ratchet strap down, it provides this triangular fixing at three points around the tree root ball to hold it securely when the wind is from wherever, whichever direction. On large trees, we sometimes use a double system so that we end up with um, triangles, two triangles overlaying each other to give six holding points down into the ground. Thank you for watching.